we are taking question and answers of metals and non metals under materials the question first is which of the following can be beaten into sheets the answer would be zinc because this is the only metal others are all non metals so zinc is a metal and it has a property called malleability and malleability that means you can convert the metal or element by beating into sheets which of the following statement is correct all metals are ductile all non metals are ductile generally metals are ductile some non metals are ductile the answer is c why see we'll see others because others this mercury for example is uh, liquid is liquid at room temperature and this cannot be drawn into wires therefore it is non ductile right the a option all metals are ductile this this becomes incorrect option a is incorrect so we cannot take this then not a single non metal is ductile so option b and d they are obviously rejected so we choose generally metals are ductile fill in the blanks phosphorus is very dash non metal is reactive very reactive non metal metals are good conductors of heat and electricity iron is more reactive than copper and metal reacts with acids to produce h2 that is hydrogen gas we have to put true and false so we'll give reasons also generally non metals react with acid this is false metal reacts with acid which release h2 gas sodium is very reactive metal and this is of course true so we we put a t because of, indeed sodium potassium calcium they all are very reactive metals then the next one is copper displaces zinc from zinc sulfate solution and we put here false because reactivity of zinc zinc is higher than the copper so copper cannot displace zinc from zinc sulfate solution coal cannot be drawn into wire this is of uh, uh, can can be drawn into wire this this becomes false because coal is a non metal so it is not ductile therefore it cannot be drawn into wires some properties are listed in this table we need to distinguish between metals and non metals on the basis of these properties so appearance metals are lustrous non metals are dull hardness metals are hard non metals are soft malleability metals are malleable and non metals are non malleable ductility metals are ductile non metals are non ductile heat conduction metals are good conductor non metals are bad conductor conduction of electricity good conductor metal non metal bad conductor so malleability ductility metals are malleable ductile they have a good heat and good uh, conduction of electricity while non metal they are neither malleable nor ductile and they are bad conductor of heat and electricity give reasons of the following now aluminum will will uh, give the discussion also so aluminum fills are used to wrap food items why first of all because aluminum is a metal it, it's very highly uh, malleable so it can be beaten into sheets very fine thin sheets and it does not react with food that is why we use it to wrap food items immersion rods for heating liquids are made up of metallic substances because metals are good conductors of heat and electricity so immersion rod can be used for heating liquids uh, they are made of metallic substances next is copper cannot displace zinc from its solution why because the reactivity of zinc is higher than copper only a metal which is high higher which has higher reactivity can displace a metal of lower reactivity from its solution so copper cannot displace zinc from zinc sulfate solution next is sodium and potassium are stored in kerosene why because they are very highly reactive metal of course sodium and potassium if they are kept open in the air they may even catch fire because they are highly reactive so they are kept in kerosene can you store lemon pickle in an aluminium utensil no we cannot store lemon pickle in aluminium utensils as the metal reacts with acids and they liberate h2 gas 
hydrogen gas and the pickle will be spoiled will not be you will not be able to use it in this uh, we have to match the match the items or you can say some substances with their uses so gold for jewelry iron for machinery aluminium for wrapping food carbon for fuel copper for electrical wires mercury for thermometers so this is the correct matching what happens when dilute sulfuric acid is poured on a copper plate nothing but if we actually pour concentrated sulfuric acid on a copper plate this copper cu will react with sulfuric acid which is h2so4 and this will liberate hydrogen gas because cu forms combination with so4 this will be cuso4 h2 will be liberated hydrogen gas then iron nails are placed in copper sulfate solution write word equation of the reactions involved so the reactivity of iron is more than copper so iron is going to displace copper from copper sulfate solution this is iron fe this is copper sulfate iron is going to replace this uh, cu from cu so4 so this will be fe so4 iron sulfate so this reaction this blue color of the copper sulfate will fade saroni took uh, a piece of burning charcoal and collected the gas evolved in a test tube how will she find the nature of the gas and write down word equation of all the reaction taking place in this process the first is uh, she need to add some water in, in the test tube in, in which gas is collected now she can cover the test tube shake it well and she can test the solution with the blue litmus and red test litmus blue litmus if it turns red then the nature of gas is acidic and charcoal when it basically charcoal is what carbon the carbon when reacts with oxygen O2 it forms CO2 carbon dioxide one day Rita went to a jeweler shop with her mother her mother gave old gold jewelry to the goldsmith to polish next day when they bought the jewelry back they found that there was a slight loss in its weight what was the reason can you suggest the reason see in order to polish a gold ornament it is dipped in a in an acid which is called as aqua regia so the outer layer of gold dissolves in the acid and the inner shiny layer comes up which is visible and it it shows that it has been polished so because of the loss of upper layer of jewelry the weight is reduced there is a weight loss 